Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how I've made this adorable mailbox. Now the stand is all optional. You can just make this top part and you can even add a handle. So there's lots of ways that you can change this and I'll talk about that along the way. You've got your little kind of sign here that moves and I just put special delivery 25th of December. My gift tag, it's the most wonderful time of the year, just this little one here. And then you just open the side there. It's a proper hinged working mailbox and inside, just as an example, I put a little gift card and it says here from the North Pole. And I just thought that was perfect. So I thought this would work really well for those kind of, we call them the special gifts or the big gift, the gift that you get given maybe last, or if you just like to give one main present. If it's a, you know, a, of value gift card, you might have a, you know, a high amount. This is a lovely way to present it, but also the jewelry, those smaller, maybe more expensive gifts, they're gonna fit really nicely in there as well. It's very easy to make. You don't need any arch or, kind of a circle dies, nothing like that. If you've made my tombstone gift boxes that I made for the Halloween series, it's that same concept. We've just made that piece a lot wider. And then I've just decorated the bottom here. This is a piece of gray board. I've put some of the Santa's footprints there and some little bristle trees. And I just think it looks adorable, but I think as well, these are gonna look lovely as table favors. So if you wanna be extra at Christmas and really go for it with your Christmas table decorations, then I think this is gonna look wonderful. Like I said, very straightforward to make. So let me show you how. So these are the bristle brush trees. I love these. I've got loads of them. I use them in my decor, within my Christmas decorations, in my house, but also for crafting. So these, I got a pack, I think it was maybe four or five from the works. And um, they're the same as the ones on that one that I showed you. So I just picked up a couple of packs of those. The tag is from a Simply Creative 2019. They always release like little Christmas stamps. They, I think these were all a pound each. You can probably still get them on craft label. So I'll share all the links below, but it's this one here. And then for that tiny little stamp here, special delivery 25th of December. If any of you have got the Daisy May Papercraft Society, then it's in the box 12. So it was Christmas last year, I believe. I just used that one there. And there's actually quite a few elements in that that would work nice for the decoration on that one. And then the papers I've used are from this Christmas design pad. I thought this one looked really nice because it's almost like it's a red mailbox, but then it's snowing. So you've got that lovely snowfall detail there. But I've gone for this design for today's one. You'll need some Velcro dots or you can use a magnet if you want. I've got some twine to attach my tag and then I've got my little bow there. And then these are all the pieces that we need to make the mailbox. So first of all, I'll start off with the main box because all the bits afterwards will be additional if you want to have the stand and the base and things like that. So you want to choose your main colour. Now, if you're using anything patterned, make sure it's a cardstock and not a paper because you want this to be a cardstock. So although this is patterned, these here are 230 GSM. So you can just get away with it. But if you're anything maybe... I guess lighter than that you might want to reinforce it so I would then stick another piece like a matte layer on top of this so this piece here is 12 by five and a half along the 12 inch side you want to score at half an inch and at 11 and a half and then just down the five and a half you're just going to score at half just on that one side then put that half inch side along the top and you're going to score at four just down to that score line and then again at eight just down to that score line so if you've done the tombstone what will happen is if you if we just pop a little curve into this because it's just going to help bring in that shape that we need and if you just fold those score lines What's going to happen is we're going to, in a minute, we're going to cut up here and then we're going to make little teeth kind of shapes like I did with the tombstone. And that's going to give us the back. This is where we're going to attach the back and then the lid is going to come off the front of this piece here. So just so you've got an understanding of how that works there. So like I said, that's the back piece with the tab. The front is where we've just got that nice finish. So get that piece and then, because we do all this at the same time, you'll then want the tab for the, the the flip, I guess, the flip lid. So this is this piece now that we're making. So I'm just showing you each piece so then you can choose the right color card that you wanna have. So this is a piece of one and a half by 11 and a quarter. Along the one and a half side, you wanna score at half an inch all the way down and then put that half inch so it's along the top 
and score at three just down to that score line and eight and a quarter just down to that score line. So it's the same concept again. We're going to cut in between these two. So again, I'm going to add a little bit of shape to that. Okay, so there we've got the start of our lid. You're also then going to need this piece here and this piece for the the back of the box. So this here is three by six along that six inch side, just score at five and a half. And this piece is just three by five and a half. You also want this piece, which is three by five, and that's going to be for the base, but we'll probably cut another piece later on as well. OK, so grab your scissors. So first of all, we're just going to snip up those two there. So now you've got these three kind of separate pieces. Within the middle piece, you want to make little teeth, just as if you were making a Christmas cracker. Or like I said, if you've done those tombstones, then it's the same. And, you know, if you've made any kind of homemade circular bags and things like that, you'll probably find that you've done this at some point. But you can see that I'm just making these little teeth, keeping a little bit at the end there so you haven't got, a, you know, a point. It's about one eighth of an inch. The smaller you do these, the better the curve. So as tedious as it is, it's actually worthwhile. So I'm probably giving it about a quarter of an inch gap here in between each one. Like I said, don't by any means try and get them perfect. <laughs> they really don't need to look perfect. That all gets hidden. But um, you can see there, just make sure each piece cuts away. And try not to go over the score line. Go up to the score line. It just gives you a neater finish. But with all these kind of projects, if you do see anything like this, it's easily covered with a bit of ribbon, some embellishments or some pom-pom trim. So that's what I tend to always do. So I'm just finishing off there and then I'm going to, it doesn't matter really how you end. I'll just take a little bit off there. Something like that. You can see there. So don't be, like I said, too worried. Don't be too precious with how it looks. But try and make them as small as you can. Now we've got already this nice art shape starting to form. Okay, like I said, this is going to be the back. Then what you want to do, again, I'll keep it flipped over because it's easier to see, is just cut up that one. So we've got this little square tab. And then again, at the other end here, like so. What we want to do, first of all, is bring in the sides like this. Okay, so I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer. This is the acrylic quick grab glue. So it's great for when you're doing these kind of projects. I'm just going to add a little glue, just spread that out like so, and then just bring that under and that other half an inch piece around. Again, don't worry too much how this all looks. It's all going to get covered, but just get that into place. And then again, a little bit of glue. And then bring that under and around. OK, you actually want to add a score line into this piece here, which I don't think I gave. So this was the five and a half by three piece. And I'm just going to score at five along that long side. This is actually what's going to go inside the box. So it's going to go in like this. So it'll go right up to the back. So you've got that pattern paper inside. But it just means that we've got a bottom piece here for when we stick the back section on. So it's, it's a very deconstructed one, but sometimes these are the easiest ways to make them. And I really try and break it down so that everyone can do this. So what you want to do next is a, I think I'm actually going to move over now to the Kalau. This is the all purpose solvent construction glue. So this is now going to start adding strength. So you really want that on the bottom. So I'm just going to add some glue all down that tab there and just a little bit on the back. Do one side at a time and just sit that inside. If it's hanging over slightly, you can trim that away, but I'm just going to turn it this way. Try and keep that up so you can see. But you can see I'm just pushing that into that corner there. Just give that a moment to set. And then if you flip over to the other end and again, add the glue all the way along. And then just a little bit in that corner. And then you can bring this one 
right over and just pop it inside and then if you flip it over you can see it almost starts to look like a carriage it could be a tunnel so you could really use this style and completely change your theme you know and make it work for you know other things so just give that a minute make sure you you know put your curved shape into the cardstock so if you don't it's going to be really hard this is going to be wanting to bounce away but by keeping it you know that arch shape it does make this a lot easier to do so again just moving that around and that's why it's always good to use you you know you can use your red tapes with this but using a liquid glue especially this um it just gives you that time to move it around i can really push those sides together there you know at the same time as kind of pushing inside as well so really do make sure it hugs all the corners okay so i'm happy with that don't worry that it's a bit more open more circular at this end you're going to sort all that out in a moment so next you want this piece here so this was your three by five piece and we're going to stick this so it lines up with the bottom and then it all overhangs and then we're just going to trim around here so much easier doing it that way so i'm going to use the quick grab glue now and i'm just going to pop just a little bead of glue on each of these i think i've got a blockage in my glue here and then all the way down the sides and also along the bottom there okay so focus on the bottom first and line that up it will be the same width so just kind of sit that in there and then turn it over and make sure that your sides kind of just you know you can wiggle them out a bit they go right up to each side and get those in place and the arch will just naturally go where it wants and then I'm just going to use I'm just going to make sure I get that there we go just make sure you get it this end the same and just push those down now we can decorate in there later on so don't worry about that at the moment so now we've got this and then I'm going to grab my scissors and just follow the shape all the way around kind of hug nice and close and like i said if it's you know if you're not happy with something about it you can easily put a nice trim around here you can see that shape we've got okay i'm just going to push those down so they're nice and secure next you want these two pieces here so this is the six by three piece and you would have scored that at five and a half so this is now going to be the front so we're doing all of this piece here so with this one you would have already curved it you want to snip up the two score lines just to the first one and you want to make those teeth marks all in that middle section again so you've got the three but you've got the three sections there it's just that middle one that you're working in Okay, so make sure all of that is folded all inwards and this time you're going to stick it onto this piece but you want the tab at the bottom because that's how we're going to attach it but we're going to do exactly the same way as we did there but just make sure that tab is free at the bottom because that's the hinge to attach it to the box so i'm going to go back to the quick grab glue again and just add that all along sides and all of these pieces here and then start with one side and just sit that so it runs nicely along the side there then go straight across to this side do the sides first let the arch go where it wants to it will make it a lot easier for you make sure that's right at the bottom and then again you can see there move it a little bit but it will kind of go where you know pretty much where it needs to be and you could also pop it over here just to make ensure that you've got that same curve but you can see now it just brings the shape straight away into that box this would also look really nice i think if you maybe kind of die cut some little windows you could put battery operated tea light in there and just have it as a nice decoration in your house a bit like the lanterns that i did a couple of years ago and i'll share that playlist up there because if you like to make just decorations for your home then check out that playlist because there's some really nice festive makes on there as well okay so that's that already and then again we're going to cut that shape 
again so just hug around that arch try and do it in as few cuts as possible just so you get that nice continued kind of cut but I'm pretty happy with that again you can see once it goes on there we've got a lovely shape so then we want to stick that now to the bottom here. We're going to cover all of that, so don't worry about all the tabs. It's really easy to tidy everything up. Put it on there and then just make sure it's nice and straight. And just stick that over. And then once it's in place, you can open it up. And again, you've probably got a little bit of wiggle time just to make sure. So it might not stay closed it might want to pop open because we need to put the stopper on there but you can see you know we've got that nearly finished and here is the stopper so this can be anything you want really but i've just got this piece of two by three quarters i think it's it was that width because of the yeah three quarters because of the velcro dots that i'm using but if you just pop a bit of glue under there and then just sit this one in the middle top here and then I've got my velcro dots got one I'm trying to come a bit closer to this bit so that you can kind of curve it up a little bit so it's like got a little lip so it's easy for the person to open and then again just bring that up And then you can just let that grab and just carefully prise them apart and then you can add a bit more pressure. I mean, you could put another little decorative piece over there, maybe some hardware. It's entirely up to you. That is it pretty much finished in terms of the, the shape of it and getting it all together. Now what we need to do is do the mats and layers here which i'll talk about in a moment and the stand and just decoration it, it's pretty straightforward in a way it doesn't take too long most of this is in real time i've just sped up the, the letting the glue dry so you want to cut yourself one piece of three by five to cover the bottom and then i've got this piece here which is three by five and a half and you'll want two pieces one to cover the back here if you want and one to cover here so just line up the bottom and the sides so all you're really doing is just following the arch shape and i'm just going to just pull around that one there and then you can pop it in there i can see i need to take a little bit more off it's kind of a bit of a trial and error doing it this way and everybody's going to be slightly different but that's what you want to do to cover both of these and then just that bottom so i think i need to take a little bit off of this side here okay so that's all stuck down it's drying nicely i mean it's not bang on in terms of the shape of the arch but no one i promise you no one is going to notice and as i always say these are to be enjoyed the person takes their gift out if they want to keep it for a while that's fine and then if they put it in the bin it's completely fine the paper was very inexpensive it was a three pound paper pad these are pennies and then it's just my labor and my enjoyment of doing this and i try to say that all the time for some people we get very kind of almost a little bit disheartened some people say oh things have been thrown in the bin um you know they didn't keep it i don't ever expect anybody to keep this kind of thing it's just very fancy gift packaging and i never keep my gift bags when people give me i mean i recycle the handles but i just wanted to say that because i think don't ever feel sad that someone's thrown it in the bin just enjoy making it that for me is the love that's my hobby which is also you know my job now but that's what I love I know that this is going to bring joy to someone's face and then possibly go in the bin afterwards it's okay anyway <laughs> let me know your thoughts on that so this piece now is for the stand and the base so this is all optional which I'm going to show you now so this piece here is four and a half 
by six and along the four and a half side you want to score at half an inch one and a half two and a half and three and a half and then along the six inch side you want to score at one and five i've then got a piece of gray board this is optional the size you might want yours bigger smaller it's entirely up to you this is four and three quarter by six and a quarter it's basically just bigger than this piece it's just easier to trim it this is four and a half by six so we'll go with this piece first i've got my glue gun on because i'm going to be using my hot glue now for the trees and attaching all of this but just fold and burnish all of those which you saw me doing and then you want to one of the sides because they're both the same on the short side just cut down and remove the little rectangle section here so we're just making a closed tube basically and then i'm just going to cut a little wedge off of the side there and then i'm just going to cut down all of these and then again here now usually i would take little wedges off the side of them i'm not going to bother with this one you can just trim a little bit at the end okay something like that and then i'm going to use my construction to do my construction glue now for this so all the way down the sides there now also if you want to add a bit more stability and weight if you've got any sand you can tip some sand inside this when we've sealed one of the bottom pieces when we've sealed the base tip the sand in and then seal the top and then you've got a very solid you know kind of well just support i guess and then I'm just going to fold that over until that glue dries. And then just start from one of the ends and just fold in. And I'm going to go back to the quick grab again just to do these tabs. So just one and then bring in the side. Add some glue, pop in the other side. And then again, some more glue. So the last one I'm putting down is at the front of where the join is here's the join so that's at the back i mean they're going to see all four sides of it but i'll make sure that this side is kind of near the front and then again with the back so i'll pop that one down first so add your sand or something in there if you do want to add a bit of weight to it that one and that one actually i don't need to trim anything off the sides of this either and then that one there before we start sticking that down, I need to go back to this piece. So what I did, just I was a little bit, I guess, lazy, you could say. I don't want to wrap this with pattern paper. So I've just got my ink here and I'm just going to just colour the sides. You don't have to use black. But I'm just going to just cover there and then I just stick the white card on the top and then trim it. And I've just found that to be much easier and quicker to be honest so if you are going to make a few of these then this is just going to save you time but if you do want to wrap the pattern paper around then that's, you know you can do then i'm going to bring back in the brow glue and just cover all of that and then this will overhang on all four corners so just let that sit over the top like so okay then i'm just going to trim around the sides okay so that's all stuck down next i've got the footprints that i want to stamp and this is from the just be claws it's the pink ink designs he's adorable i thought the footsteps on here were perfect so i've used the larger ones and i'm just going to do one at a time so i want to have this one first. Then I'm going to grab this one and my hot glue. If you haven't got hot glue, you know, just carry on with the glues that you've been using. I'm just going to pop a blob there. And then just have the join at the back I can hardly actually see there it is and just stick this into the middle or as good as and whilst that's drying i'm going to start sticking my trees down so 
So you should have something like that if you're doing similar to me. And then I'm going to pop my glue on the top there. And then you want to sit this. I'm going to have to look underneath now and just, again, you want to get it as centred as possible. If you open it up, you'll get a feel the hot glue inside and just put a bit of pressure in there. So whilst that's just cooling, I've got this here, which is for the little sign and it's on that brad. So this here, I cut to one by one and a half and then I just put a little flag tail there and stamped that sentiment. Obviously, if you've got a bigger sentiment then yours, you know, just cut that accordingly. And you might not be adding this, you might just want to put a nice sentiment on the side. Here, I've stuck two pieces of 300 GSM together. These are four by half an inch. And then I'm just going to add some glue at the top. Just stick that one over the top. You might have the person's name on this, the house number. It's a lovely, you know, if they've just moved into their new home at Christmas, I think this would be a nice gift. Okay, then I'm going to grab a brad. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to still want to use red or do I do black? I might do black on this one just so it's a little bit different. These are the 8 mil. Depends what size you're punching your hole. But these are the eight mil brads. And then I've got my punch here and I'm just going to punch a hole at the bottom, like so. And then just open this up and just decide whereabouts you want to put it. You've got to remember that you're closing that piece. So actually if I pop that one back up there, then I can see where I want this to go. So about, about there, put a little pencil mark. And then I can just go in with my punch. Like so, and get your brad, pop it through both the holes, open it up inside and just make sure it's nice and tight so it can stay upright, but easily be moved. If it's too loose and it's just gonna drop down. But now just squeeze in the sides and then close that one up and then the last little bit if you want to do this is this strip here so you could keep it all white if you want but i did add this strip here so this one was five eighths of an inch by 12 but you're going to trim a load of it off and i just started from the back and just wrap it all the way around and then just trim off what you don't need I'm not going to do the the front here it was just this bow and then a tag because i might change it depending on who i give it to but that is your mailbox gift box whether you have it as a home decoration like a lantern have it all lit up with lights you have it as table favors or just under the tree with a really special gift inside i think it's perfect and then again just open that up and you've got all that space inside. You could put something over that if you want to cover it again. I'm never worried about stuff like that because I know that the recipients won't mind and I just know that they will be more interested to know who's getting that lovely box that will be underneath the Christmas tree. So I'll just bring back in this one here so you can see the two of them there and how sweet they look. I love them. I think they're absolutely adorable. I'm really pleased with them and I hope you have fun making yours if you make them too. I can't wait to see your versions, different themes, baby showers, new home, birthdays, all kinds of things. All the links as always will be shared in the description box below and there will also be those tutorials that I mentioned earlier popping up as well so you might want to watch those next. And if you've enjoyed today's tutorial and you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and then you'll get notified every time I upload a new tutorial. And also check out all the playlists because I've got over a thousand tutorials on the channel now so there's lots to keep you inspired. Thanks again and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!